Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and today I will be teaching you how to make processors from the mod Applied Energistics 2 using the mod Applied Energistics 2, Thermal Dynamics, and Thermal Expansion. Thermal Expansion is not totally necessary, it is used for energy, and also Thermal Dynamics may not be necessary as you could probably use other item movement mods to do what I'm going to do with Thermal Dynamics. But let's get started. So the first thing we will need is five inscribers, and that is because we have four different components we will be making, the printed silicon, printed logic circuits, printed engineering circuits, and then printed calculation circuit, as well as finished processors themselves. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set down these inscribers on this flux duct here, and then I'm going to load each one with a, a different press here. The first one, silicon press, the next one, logic, the third one engineering and then the fourth one will have the calculation press uh, lastly I'm going to put down the inscriber that will make the finished circuits and I'm going to offset a little bit to allow for easier uh, logistics I guess for moving the items the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down an insert chest and then an extraction chest uh, this chest right here will be where I put my uh, initial items to make the processors and how we're going to move these items from this chest is through item duct and I'm going to be running it like so um, I will also need to run some item duct into the bottom and top of this inscriber as well as just the side okay so the next thing I want to do is I want to set up some filters and I'm going to put a filter on each of these inscribers and then on this as well uh, so on this first inscriber, we are going to make it, be making the printed silicon from silicon. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to whitelist silicon and printed silicon. And you'll see why I do the printed silicon as well later. Um, obviously, the silicon will be used to make the printed silicon. Um, and on the second one, I need to do the gold uh, because that is what we will be putting in to make the printed logic circuits. The third one needs the diamonds, and the fourth one needs the pure Sardis quartz. And then this last filter over here will be used for redstone, as um, finished finished processors require a uh, a printed circuit, a printed silicon, and a redstone. So the next step here is I want to go ahead and use retrievers on the top and bottom of this particular inscriber. Up here, we are going to whitelist the printed logic circuits, the printed engineering circuits, and the printed calculation circuits. And then in the, oh, I should probably turn this on. And in the bottom retriever, I'm going to whitelist the printed silicon. So if we go, actually, I can't do that quite yet. Um, I need to go ahead and put a servo on this guy right here. And now that I have all my filters ready to go, I should, 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 should be able to drop my items in here my initial items and I should be able to turn this on and that should start the process here so let's see here um, anytime now I should start getting some stuff so we have silicon in here uh, we have some gold uh, coming into here and as we should see the silicon should or the uh, printed silicon circuit should come over here I said printed silicon circuit it's not a circuit it's just printed silicon but uh, okay, so uh, I did something wrong here. I think I blacklisted this one. This needs to be a whitelist, so that's why that happened. Um, so I should see sil silicon come into here. Uh, redstone should come into here anytime now. Um, I forgot. No, I didn't forget to whitelist that. I'm not really sure why that's not uh, in here just yet, but it should be. Anyways. While that's uh, waiting waiting for that to happen, I'm going to go ahead and get the extraction circuit ready. And that is just impulse item duct once again with a servo on it. And we will hit redstone ignored so that it's on. Um, not really sure why this is not working just yet. Uh, maybe I should decrease this down to one. Because it will be pulling one item at a time. Um, make sure this is whitelist. Prevent oversending. Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure why that's not working. It was totally working in testing. Uh, it looks like everything else is working. Um, oh, I forgot to set this up, didn't I? No, I didn't. It's just... Okay, I think I know what's going on here. I think uh, it's just uh, too busy sending the other things. So if I were to remove these other items here, it should go ahead and send redstone. 
So yeah, it was just uh, busy sending other things uh, because the regular servo here, um, there are different tiers of servos. The regular servo can only operate so quickly and it was just busy sending other things. But as we can see here, we're starting to make some processors and the system tends to work very, very well. Um, let me go ahead and load this stuff back in here uh, so that it can run. And this will make me lots and lots of processors over time. And if you should choose, you can replicate this setup. And um, normally when I've done this in the past, I've used Applied Energistics ME system to actually automate the, the making of processors. But that actu actually requires you to make some processors of your own before you can do that. Using this method, you don't really have to do much of anything. Obviously, you have to make these circuits first off so that you can uh, hit them with the filters here. Or put them in the filters so that the filters will work. But other than that, uh, there's not really a whole lot of setup time. So I feel like this is a pretty good way to automate processors. And that is obviously how you automate processors from the mod Applied Energistics 2. If you feel like you learned something today, feel free to drop a like. And if you are interested in learning more about automation in modded Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 8 and I will see you next time.